Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Today I'm in Ireland by the dis nah, by the bottler, um, Bar and Ishka. I'm not very good at pronouncing that, I'm sorry. The 16 year old bottling. Wow! So, very rare. Um, 1,803 bottles in total. Uh, the name is, of course, 1803. That is the year they built the church here in Red Cross, where the family's pub has been for, not bad, for generations. And so this is basically an um, independent bottler in Ireland. I am more or less guessing that this is from Cooley Distillery. I couldn't find anything online about it being double distilled, triple distilled, or whatever, but I've already done my German video, so I'm guessing that it is double distilled. Um, Ian Jones started this. He's the pub owner. Also, his family deals with greyhound racing dogs and so on, according to Celtic Whiskey um, Shop. And they have their own family um, well, their own family spring, where they cut the whiskey down to 46% with their family well water. Uh, car or spring water and so Red Cross is the name of the place it's in the County Wicklow and um, this cost 84 euros and 90 cents so we're talking about a hundred dollar almost whiskey maybe 95 dollars at the moment first fill Kentucky bourbon um, cask I love it how they say first fill Kentucky bourbon it's not a Tennessee it's not maybe something from Chicago from I don't know um, it's not someplace else from Utah or wherever it's a tennis it's a Kentucky first fill bourbon cask maybe Heaven Hill who knows there's only 1803 bottles of this I personally have bottle number 1359 if you go to the website, there's actually just two distributors worldwide. One is the um, Celtic Whiskey Shop in Dublin. The other is www.irish-whiskeys.de by Mareike uh, Spitzer. Um, and this is one of hers, so I bought it from her online. There's a 10-year edition as well as a small batch blended whiskey. 80% grain, 20% uh, malted whiskey. I decided to compare it today to something else. The Turconel 16 year old single malt, also from Cooley. Um, over here in Germany, 64 euros, 84 euros. So we're talking about 20 euros, maybe $25 more for a whiskey that is 16 year old, that is single malt, that is basically um, the little brother or uh, the twin brother, if you actually have to ask me. But I'm not 100% sure that they're actually twins. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put that there. I'm going to crowd my screen with a lot of stuff here. So we have the bottles, then the, the tubes, and everything here so we can see. I really like this bottle. They have this copper plaque on this. Um, they have probably had to glue it, to be very honest, to get it to stick here to the glass. But it says established 1762, um, which of course is a lie. Why do I say it's a lie? Um, Turconel was a distillery that was actually originally from Derry, also called London Derry, in the north of Ireland. I was there this last summer and visited the Quiet Man distillery that was in was in construction, actually being built. And um, the Kirtonel was a, just a brand. And Cooley picked up the brand just like they picked up other brands along the way. Um, and, um, yeah. So it's not actually been in production since 1762 continuously, but basically since 2000. And so that's okay, no problem. But I do have a little bit of um, a bad, just tiny little aftertaste of distilleries that start up new and take these old names. <clears throat> Michters um, did exactly the same thing. And a few other places as well. I love Michter, Michters. Don't get me wrong, great juice. Mm, they're not as old as they say. Stop. All right, many other things as well. Over here, on the other hand, we have a bottler. They're not even planning on doing a distillery. And therefore, um, that's also one of the things where you kind of go, well, why? 
and they also have the name 1803 because the church was built in the Red Cross and um, County Wicklow mm, a little bit deceiving as well so both of these bottles do not deliver the age statement they really say yes the whiskey is 16 year old but no the, the distilleries have nothing to do with 1762 or 1803 all right let's nose little history lesson, an Irish whiskey history lesson here by Whiskey Jason. Okay, I'm getting some vanilla. Yay, it's, it's Irish. I'm getting some not yet ripe strawberries as well as not yet ripe um, red currants. Um, of course, you get a little bit of barrel char, you get a little bit of the, um, the malt forwardness, and it's both of these are 46%. Why 46? Well, we know as whiskey geeks, but the beginners don't, that if you take whiskey that is chill filtered and you put it in a cold environment below freezing, the whiskey will not get cloudy. You take whiskey that is maybe 43% and non-chilled filtered and put it down below zero, the fatty acids in here actually start to come together and they become cloudy. And of course, cloudy whiskey, milky whiskey is not something we want. Doesn't really affect the taste, but it does affect the optic. And of course, we buy the bottles because of a clear brown color. And therefore, distilleries that want to do non-chilled filtered, that want to leave those acid fat fats in there, they need to go up to 46% because that alcohol keeps it from um, those fatty acids from clumping together at low temperatures. I'm sure if you put it in the freezer at minus 30 degrees, something still might happen, but I normally in this world we don't have minus 30 degrees. Alright, so. The Turconel, 16 years old. Oh, this is better. <laughs> I know the videos about this, but people, if you can get your hands on a Turconel, the Turconel, 16 year old, named after a racing horse back there. This is really, really nice. All right, so going back here, we have mint, vanilla, barrel char, wood, grain. But on top of that, we have almost like a tropical fruit note as well as darker fruits, as well as a little bit of a tobacco caramel moment. Very, very nice, very, very complex. Nice. Oh, fabulous. Um, I must admit, the bottling and transparency over here is better. It says, single malt Irish whiskey, fill date April 2002. Yay! So, uh, 2002 plus 16, 2018, it was actually bottled. We have the beginning of 2019, so I'm sure it didn't, um, wasn't bottled here in 2019 yet. But um, very, very nice. There's all that information there. It's a single malt um, Irish whiskey, 100% malted barley. Only thing I would have loved to known is it double or triple distilled. But hey, who knows? Um, I actually did a review of this a year and a half, two years ago. Gave it, I think, a B plus. Actually, I just love the Turconel 16. As I mentioned already, 64 euros, 84 euros. And what really, really surprises me a little bit is the fact that both of these whiskeys, same age, same country, same process, but yet a totally different result. Um, this, I don't know if they used better, better casks or had a better warehouse, um, or if this is actually just the problem that the casks were not perfect. I have a theory, I'm going to talk about that in a second, maybe a conspiracy theory. Let me try this with its 46%. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very nice. A little oily. A little bit of a push of the alcohol as well. But what really, really bothers me is the fact that the finish is not at the highest level that it could be. There's a little bit of wood in there that's turning, starting to diminish in its character. Um, my conspiracy theory is they had six barrels, 
Five might have been perfect, and one was a just over the Sunit. And it's just like, ah, we'll just put it in there. And shame on them that they did that. Um, I can, I can at least um, imagine to taste this and do not find that it's very, very ap appealing. Contrary to that is the Turconel 16-year-old. One second. Mmm. Mmm. Mm hmm. Ah. Ah. Oh, this finish is just fabulous. It's got the fruitiness, Hawaiian fruit, as well as dark, rich currants, blackberries, blueberries, a little bit of a um, of dark chocolate cacao. Um, actually added in there. Very complex, very good. It actually earns the B+. Plus. This is a fantastic Irish whiskey. If you can find it, please buy it. If you're interested in older Irish whiskey, 16 years is in fairly, fairly old age for Irish whiskey. Very difficult to find anything even close to that at the moment. Do it. Of course, you can buy the Red Breast 21-year-old. It's going to cost you about double the price. Um, if you can find it, and this is also something over here in Germany, at least in Europe, it's not officially limited, but usually there's like one shipment a year, and then it comes out, and then um, the, the store's starting to just be bought out, and then you have to go to a different store, and you can find it again, and find it again, until once again a new shipment comes. It's not everywhere, and it's not easily to always be found, but if you do find it, it is one for the price, um, a bargain for what you're getting, and two, excellent whiskey, excellent juice. Going back here, I have to give it a grade as well as a value for money. On the nose as well as, um, I'm going to put a little bit of water in here and see if any change happens whatsoever. I'm um, taking it down to 42%, maybe 40 some percent. Uh, it gets a little bit sweeter, which is nice, I guess. The finish really, really, really bothers me. It's not ter I've had worse. Definitely, I've had much worse. But for this amount of money, about $100, I'm not really interested in a whiskey that doesn't have a fantastic finish. Um, because that's what you have the most of. I mean, I sniff on it for maybe 20 seconds. I have in the mouth for another 20 seconds, and then when I, the finish is maybe the next two or three or five minutes even, and that's what I enjoy the most, and I just don't have that enjoyment here as I had hoped. So I'm going to give it a B, no, sorry, C++. It's not a B minus, a C++. Value for money, it's a D plus, actually. I think it's way too expensive um, for what you get. Um, Will you find other, and that's my question of the day, what other Irish whiskeys are out there that are older than 15 years? I know I have a Red Breast 15 year old, I have the Red Breast 21 year old, I have a Retronaut 17 year old from Blackwater Distillery, I have the Turconel 16, now I have here our Bar An Ishka, um, also 16 year old. But what other Irish whiskeys are available out there at a age of 15 plus? Question of the day. Um, I'm a little disappointed to be a very, very honest. I expected more. I hoped for more, but I didn't. It didn't deliver as I expected. What a shame. All right, whiskey, Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany, tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. One thousand eight hundred three bottles, exotic, sixteen-year-old Irish whiskey, exotic. Thought I'd do a video about it. All right, thank you very much for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please to th tell others about this American over in Germany tasting. Um, whiskey you'll probably never get your hands on. <laughs> a great concept, Jason, I know. Um, and also, of course, thank you very much. One day, Wednesdays, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, my videos come out. Bye-bye. See you soon.